Wow. I think this is going to be my favorite yet. For this week's long run, we were back together on our local mountain, Kunanyi, Mount Wellington. Because earlier this week, we had gotten a phone call from a local radio station to come in for an interview. Hi! Hello, Hello. welcome! Hi! Hey. How are you doing? Hey, nice to meet you. Hey! Can I... You very fit, impressive people. Oh, thank you very much. Hi! Hey. And one of the questions got us thinking. Mm. What's Running. one of your favourite spots to trail run in Tasmania? Oh... Yours? It's hard to say. I think I love the mountain. I really love it because I can't run from home and don't need a car. I just go up and go for a really long run. And we thought we knew the mountain like the back of our hands. But there are places we didn't know existed. Until today. Today we are on another mission. This time we're looking for huts that don't exist on any of the maps. We sort of got a rough idea where some of them are. Um, one of them actually is, one of the three that we're looking for today is actually on a map, but the other two are not. Um, and down in here, there are no tracks. But in spite of that, there are some huts tucked away in secret locations with only sort of vague sort of wombat tracks that lead to them uh, and you have to sort of know where they are. And we know where some of them are, and that's what we're up to today. We're going to try and find some of these secret huts up here on the mountain. So, looking forward to this. This is going to be a, a great day, I think. And it was. Because it ended up being a day that changed everything for us. How we thought about the mountain and our place on it. We'd come up that morning from home, over the top, and down to what's called the Big Bend, where our search for the first hut began. It was one of those days where you could have run forever, but we were on a hunt for the Scout Hut, nestled into a hillside over the back of the mountain, in a location that, as with the other huts, is best kept secret to keep it safe for future generations. For this first hut, we knew more or less where it was, but looked for a high point up on a rocky ledge where we could maybe catch a glimpse of the hut's tin roof. After the second attempt, we found what we'd been looking for. We found it. We found the first one, yeah. So we're yeah. just going to head down, um, check it out, and then head off to the next one. It's okay. just nicely tucked in, in just behind this sort of rock. Yeah. Oh. This is hut number one. Yeah. Oh, Scott. Scott hut. Upstairs. Oh, yeah. Sleeping. Alrighty, hut number one. This Check. one's called the Scout Hut. Uh, and there's a bit of a story behind that, which I'll maybe tell you later. But the uh, uh, we've got a couple more to get to today, so I don't think we'll hang around here too long. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit. Uh, and um, But absolutely stunning day today. So. Let's get to the next one. Yeah. Let's go. Off we go. I reckon we should, should close the door though. This yeah, time. close the door. Okay. That's ingenious. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. But the best was yet to come. 
Luckman's hut is on the map but not on any tracks. So we were looking forward to doing some navigation to find it. Alrighty, so this is the start of the panorama track and we're just heading up to the Luckman's track, our second hut for the day, all being well we will find this one and um, by all accounts it's uh, it's a pretty nice hut I think. Yeah. So let's get let's moving. Go. Currently in no man's land here, um, just south I guess of the panorama track, on the way to the Luckman's track. This is possibly not the ideal route to get there, but uh, this is uh, going to take us more or less straight there I think. We just found ourselves hut number two. As it turned out, we weren't the hut's first visitors today. Anyone home? There was already the remains of a fire burning in the hearth. Ooh. <laughs> Check that out. Yeah. Okay, you're on to hut three now. It's two down, one to go. As good as Luckman's hut was, we weren't prepared for what was waiting for us in the next secret location, a little further down the mountain. Alright, so we are getting close to where we have to turn off to get to the third hut for today. Um, this is uh, probably, I'd say, one of the most secret huts on the mountain. Doesn't seem to be an awful lot written about it anywhere. Uh, certainly not in any of the maps, uh, but we're going to turn the camera off now so that nobody can see the location or at least where you turn off to get to it. And um, we'll, uh, we'll see you again Hello. when we're uh, on our way up. Just a huge tree, one stage. This is a good place to sleep. <laughs> and then the moment that changed everything for us. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. It's our third one for today. Yeah. That is awesome. Oh. I, just, I mean, who would have thought? I don't know how. Look, we've spent so much time on this mountain. Yeah, nearly 20 years. Tw yeah, nearly 20 <laughs> years on this mountain. And that is unbelievable. It just shows how much there is still to learn. It's just amazing. Yeah. This is Kara Hut, another one of the huts that's not on the map. And this is this is just fantastic. <laughs> So much history in these books, huh? But things were about to get even better. We ran into a guy who'd been coming to Kara Hut for years. We wanted to be called Terry. And he told us of another hut close by. As I mentioned, we met this guy called Terry who told us about an old well. So we're in a, an area, I guess. This hut must date back to, I suppose, I'm not sure, a hundred years maybe. Um, and apparently there's an old well up here on the hill, so we'll go up and check that out. Um, fresh spring water sounds pretty good. I can't see anything. No, I think it's, it's up there though, I think. Mm. Oh, that's 
Is that good? That's really good. Do you want to have something to eat? Could do, yeah. Just about time to go now. We're gonna head down. Um, Terry said Terry said he's gonna show us uh, the next hut to retreat. So we'll um, head down that way. Follow Terry down, who doesn't want to be sh uh, doesn't want to be seen on uh, on camera. And um, we'll meet you down the next hut. Only the occasional rock cairn hinted that there was anything down there to see at all. But this was a perfect way to end the day, and it seemed like we'd kept the best till last. This is incredible. This is probably just, this is such a bonus. I'm so lucky to have met Terry out there yeah. up at the, um, the car. I had to just show this, this one, the way down. It's so close to the last one and yet I don't think we would ever have come across it by ourselves. So yeah. absolutely fantastic. I've heard so much about this one. Um, and there's even, notice as we came in there, there's a, there's a history of the hut on the wall. Yeah. Just taking a photo from Bob, we'll see if we can um, find out a bit more about it later, huh? Yeah. But um, this is amazing. There's a pillow on each bed. Some blankets. Oh. Yeah. That's Martin's. I'm not sure what date it is today. 17th, I think. Flo and Nord. An amazing day, and it was hard not to feel a part of the mountain's long history. Flo's really hot. <laughs> That was of course all just for the camera. 